डियर एस्टूडेंट कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स शेयरिंग ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन और इंटेलिजेंस वी एम्प्लॉय टू मीडियम्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वर्बल एंड नॉन वर्बल इन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन वी यूज अ लैंग्वेज दैट वी नो एंड वर्बल कम्युनिकेटर हैज सम पर्टिकुलर क्वालिटीज अ वर्बल कम्युनिकेटर कीप्स गुड कमांड ओवर वर्ड्स एंड देयर यूजर्स a verbal communicator keeps good command over the english grammar a verbal communicator listens a lot but speaks only the essential a verbal communicator has a sound analytical power to analyze any particular situation a verbal communicator has potential to process his thought if you are a good writing uh, if you are good at writing articles essays letters editorials and the other it means you are a good verbal communicator it must be noted that in non verbal communication we use our gestures and postures we do not use words now let's discuss the kinds of letters broadly speaking letters are of two types informal letters and formal letters okay an informal letter is that which is written to one's father mother uncle sister brother friends or to those who are our dear ones in such letters strict formalities are not maintained let's get us started friend keep in mind a few highly important things before you switch to writing an effective informal letter First of all start a letter going straight downwards without leaving any space on the left margin okay this is called the computer formatted letter to be submitted online in your main exam next change the paragraph leaving one line space okay if not then it's okay depending upon the interface you will get in the examination friend while writing any informal letter just start writing it keeping in mind the fact that you are causing the reader to feel your presence through the letter in other words the reader should read the letter as if he were or she were talking to you always keep in mind the purpose of writing the letter and just ask yourself whether the letter will fulfill your purpose or not suppose you are asking your mother for some house made sweets your purpose should be more around this desire likewise if you are writing a letter to your younger brother advising him to choose banking industry as a career you have to focus on what your purpose is you have to keep convincing your brother through your words so that he would finally follow you okay well these are the important points to remember now let's talk about different parts of an informal letter friend a letter has the heading the salutation the body the closing part and the signature please note that you should not provide a subject in your informal letter subject is provided in informal letters okay the heading comprises address and date as you see on in this on the screen there are three acknowledged date patterns have a look if you are going to write to your friend sister or brother you can write it as dear brother or sister or or friend dearest friend or fr or sister or brother my dear friend or brother or sister my dearest friend or brother or sister something like that well if you are going to write to your father or mother you can write it as my dear father or dear father dear papa my dear mother dear mother dear mummy okay but mind it don't write my dearest father or my dearest mother clear now friend let's have a look at the body part the body part talks about your purpose select appropriate expressions concisely and accurately so as to make the reader known of your purpose 
Don't fill it, fill it with such redundant formalities in which your purpose gets lost. Use each and every word in such a way that the reader should feel, uh, feel your presence before him or her. Don't waste your words in maintaining formalities such as greetings to the family members, inquiring about their health, etc. until and unless there are they, they, these are quite relevant to the later topic. Okay? Now friend, the second last part is the closing part which you can write uh, it as your loving son or your loving daughter or yours lovingly. Okay? In a letter to father, mother, uncle or grandfather or mother or the other. In this way you can write. Okay. And then if you are just uh, writing to different then you can write it as your sincere friend, yours sincerely, sincerely yours etc. With love with best wishes uh, uh, are used when you are writing to your younger brother or sister. Okay. Now the last part of an informal letter is a signature in which you affix your signature. Okay. Friend, you can notice the informal letter format. Hope you will have absolutely no problem in writing an informal letter. Friend, you should take down some informal letter topics for the examinations of yours. The first letter topic is your friend started a new job. So, advise him to save by insurance. Okay. The next informal letter that you should try to write on is write a letter to your cousin to congratulate her on her success in an exam with dis distinction. Okay. Next important informal letter is write a letter to your friend and convince him to invest in mutual funds. And then write a letter to your friend to start his own startup. Okay. The next uh, uh, letter to be written on is write a letter to your sibling giving him advice uh, related to the stress and anxiety caused by the loss of the job during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. Write a letter to your friend who has recently authored a book on the problems of youth in India. Give him uh, your valuable feedback after reading the book okay next letter topic is write a letter to your younger brother giving him valuable guidance for the preparation of regulatory body exams your friend has broken the news that his mother is no more write a letter of condolence okay next is write a letter to your friend elaborating on your experience of a recent tour to a beautiful hill station of india okay Friend, these are all highly important informal letter topics for all competitive exams. Please try all these on a virtual platform. Banquiz is fully specialized for descriptive English preparation. Visit www.bankwiz.com for detail. You can attempt one essay or ESI or FM mock for free. Plus, you can get your answer evaluated by our experts via India's fastest evaluation me mechanism by our highly experienced uh, mentors. Do visit this site to avail yourself of this. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much.